Hey y'all, welcome back. Today is July 21st, yes, yeah, Tuesday, July 21st, because tomorrow school starts. So you can see I've got a clean desk, the kids are set up for computers, we ordered some new chairs for them that are a little more comfortable than bar stools. They have cups for headphones. They're all set. Um, I'm gonna keep this one short because we have meet the teacher night and of course through the computers. So we'll see how that works because they're both gonna be talking at the same time. Um, so last week I worked on Magnificent Wizard and I'm working on him a lot this week too. I think I'm doing for four pops. Where'd my picture go? Here we go. Wow. So this one. I'm really hoping for a finish this year, but we'll see what happens. It's a minute and a half in. Felt like it was going too fast. My name's Amy and this is Floss Tube 47. Let's just go back into the stitching. Hold on. I'm in the middle of stitching now for homework this week, but I'm working a lot and filling the bottom and then moving up. Looks so good. Please hold. Okay. So excited. So this one's four prompts this week. So one is a penalty stitch for 300. The other ones are 200 each. So good stitching this week. Plus right now I'm working a lot of half stitches, so that only counts for half the stitch. So for every 200, I have to do 400. So hoping for a lot of progress on this one. Working on that one now. There's that. Um, I did Crazy Cat Chloe. Now, don't scream. I feel like I talked about this, but I think it was in, mm-hmm. Uh -huh my video that's not uploaded yet because there's a lot of editing that has to be done for um, mid-year whip parade but I was having a hard time stitching on this one and this one is here it was too bulky I tried the parking method it wasn't working for me so this is the bottom and I thought maybe if I move to the side, but I'm still not. Mm -mm. So I think this is the year for frogging, for trading fabric, for starting over. And I've given myself permission to frog all of it. This. I know a lot of you just gasped your breath. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not mad about it. I'm not upset. I'm actually really excited. I know it's a lot of work, but I don't like the way this is stitching. So I decided to start at the top. When I started at the top, put that back on, and gave myself permission to go ahead and frog what I didn't like you really started to enjoy it again. I put in 1,132 stitches on one day and 390 the next day. That tells me that this project, I love the project itself, but I was not enjoying the project because of what was happening at the bottom. It's too, I'll show you the back, hold on. Can you see the thickness right here? Mm-hmm, maybe. 
there. If you look in the middle here versus here, come on Linda, you just did it, you can do it. It's super thick here where I did the parking. I don't like it. There's also a lot of um, 08 in that area, and I noticed that the 08 was a little more fluffy in that section where I tried to stitch. I think, again, I tried to show it the last time I showed the project, but I can't remember if that was in my last floss tube or in that video that's not up yet. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and frog it all. I'm done. And when I started up top, and yes, my back looks crazy up top too. Please hold. But this, I can handle. It's all spread out. This was too much in one spot. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Cooperate. There we go. So, I'm going to work on the top and work my way down. And then when I get frustrated or I need to rip something out, I'll do it with that project first. But I got some good progress in. I'm pretty excited about it. And then Miss Cherry Blossom. I know I showed this in the video that's not up yet, but all the DMC stitching is finished. Not the back stitching, not the crinic, and not the beading, but everything else is done. Oh, she's so pretty. This is on 32 count Lugana Opalescent Galaxy from B Stitch Me. Try to remember to link her down below. I'll try. But this one, I was really careful with my back. You don't see a lot of caring, there's some, not a lot. This is probably the best back I've ever had in my life. Oh, I'm so proud. She looks good. And the best part was that whoop, I finished all the X's two days before my mom's one year celebration and it felt so good. So it tells me I'm on the right path to finish her on my mom's birthday, what would have been her 67th birthday on December 7th. So this week we have plans. I say we like we're a team, but you encourage me so you count as part of my team. I'm working on this one. As you can see, I'm mid-stitching. I already finished one homework for uh, yesterday for 268. And I think today I'm up to 600 something. So I'm just gonna keep going till I get whatever count I can for today. And then the next one I'll be working on is Crazy Cat Chloe. I fit her into a prompt for three of the letters. And then I couldn't figure out an A. So I gave up. <laughs> Said, okay, Angel. She needs to be worked on anyway. She's another one I restarted with new fabric. I'll show you where I'm at. Maybe. Here we go. This is on, it's Be Stitch Me. Be prepared, you're gonna hear that name a lot. I love her fabrics. And 
I just joined her silk club. I'm so excited. I'm so happy for her. This one's called Nova. It was a monthly fabric, I think in like February, maybe? I have it written down somewhere. I mean, it's in my journal. I know it's there, but I thought I left. No? No. It was not that nice to myself. I didn't leave it in the pattern, or the plastic. I'm pretty sure it's 18 count. Because that's what I always order from her. My fabric club is 18 count Ada. If I need anything special, I let her know and I order it. <laughs> There's that. That will get worked on this week. It says only 50 stitches, but I'll probably do more than that, just because that's me. There's those. That's this week's plans. This week's haul, retail therapy, whatever you want to call it. It's all be stitch me. <laughs> but now I can put it away. So I ordered rainbow for Woo, no, no, don't lose the floss now. Um Miss Dancing Flower. Now I have to figure out which part I want to use because this is gorgeous. It's 32 count Lugana. And oh my gosh. Oh, look at it. True to color. Yes. Oh my gosh. A part of me thinks I'm going to use the bottom. This side. Because of the purple, the blues, the greens, the yellows. Matches. I also need to figure out on my calculator again, how much room does she really need? Oh, it's beautiful. It's so soft. Nope, touch it. Don't rub your face in it. So, here you go. Oh, Linda doesn't like that. Focus. There. So now I can put that in the bag. This is going... Oh. Floss is flying all over. Okay, this can now go in here. I can put it away. For the... Listen. This one is now fully kit, except for the floss, but I have a full DMC set, so I'm good. This is ready. Fabrica, fabric of the month. It didn't have a name this month. I'm not sure if maybe she just didn't put down or it just didn't have a name. I don't know. But this one's for July. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's exactly what it looks like. Good job sun and camera good job Linda it's beautiful no idea what I'm putting on it but that's okay I have plenty of things for next year that can use these <laughs> so there's that and I didn't want to open it yet but I'm gonna open it now sorry for the crinkle Ooh, don't throw that one away. Oh, good. Everyone always smells their floss, so I think it's like a rule that I have to smell mine. It doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> it's fine. Here, I'll just show you the one. No, Linda. Linda. Back to the Peeping Tom game. Look at it. Yes. Okay. Epic. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Check that out. It's perfect. And the Phoenix fabric that I've got has orange and red through it. So, here. <laughs> that just worked out. Oh, it's going to look so good. So now these can go 
-hmm. and here. Perfect. And I can save and wait till my Phoenix fabric comes in and then I'll pop that in there too. And that'll be another one set and ready to go. Yes, that's what I want to know because I need things to be set up and ready to go so I can prepare for December when I can show you all the madness I'm going to start in January of 2021 because yes, please, I'm so ready. And I'm so excited that so many of you are excited about my craziness because that's all I can say about it. I'm doing no new starts this year. So all of my pent up stitchy needs are going to be met next year. I'm just gonna unleash everything. <laughs> it's going to happen, I'm so excited. I have more. We need to have a discussion. I have a problem. It's called Heaven and Earth Designs. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad problem. But first, where? Can you see the cat? Where am I pointing? Here. It's stuck. She's she's curled up in a ball by the door because she thinks she's locked in forever. And now she's asleep. Okay, back to what I was saying. We have Just to give you an idea of the madness I'm about to start. Can I make that one bigger? What if I turn it sideways? Will you turn sideways? Perfect. No, don't do that. What are you doing? Okay, don't freak out. Stay. Fix yourself. Okay. I was gifted Amy Stewart's, don't move, Once Upon a Fairy Tale. That is my January 1st start. I'm pretty sure you've seen it, but if you haven't. That was my first gift from Anna. Thank you. And then I have cat hair. She's all the way over there, but I'm still getting attacked. Okay. Uh -uh. Sorry. <laughs> um, ba -ba 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 -ba. where's the other one? Where is my tiki? Where did you go? It's supposed to be in alphabetical order. Helps if I look alphabetically. That, no? No, yeah. Sometimes I need help. It's okay, I'm fine. <laughs> this one was gifted to me by Amanda and I just talked about it. It's called Tiki Beach Sunset another Amy Stewart, and it's beautiful. I'm starting this one too. I think this may be my anniversary start because my husband and I went to Hawaii for the first time ever in our lives to Hawaii. So I think this is gonna be my anniversary start and it's not too far, it's April 7th. I think I can hold out for this one till April 7th. I think this will be my anniversary start. Then 
because you're all so awesome peoples. There is, it starts with a C. Gabrielle, Gabriel, Gabrielle. I'm assuming Gabrielle. Could be wrong. It's happened before. But she's known as Gabri Stitches. I tried to see if you have a floss tube. Do you? I feel like you should have one. Anyways, she found a Randall. Spangler, I have not seen. I have two more on my wish list. One is the new virus detected, and the other one is it worked yesterday. I did not see this one, and I got an email in the morning. I think it was Wednesday last week? Wednesday or Thursday. And she sent me computer catastrophes. Oh my gosh, I, sho I showed my husband and he laughed so hard because this is me. <laughs> Everywhere you look, something bad's about to happen. There's a cat with water. There's a mouse eating the wire. There are computer bugs that have been let out. They're all over. There's spilt chemicals. Does it say what it is? No. There's a magnet. All the things that can go wrong with a computer. Mm -hmm. Match perfectly. This will definitely be started next year. I actually just ordered more fabric so I could fit this one in. Not just this one though. Because if you're a fan of Heaven and Earth Designs, and you're on their Facebook group, which I think is now closed. I think Michelle closed it because there was a lot of things, drama and talk and things that weren't needed that were going on in the group. But she had a moment, and I don't know what happened in that moment, but she decided to release 20 patterns. And then when people started saying things about her releasing the 20 patterns she took them down i don't know if that's the reason why she took them down i'm not into that sort of stuff but all of a sudden they were taken down and then the next morning they were brought back up and i grabbed the ones that i thought i have to have those in my life trust me that i will pay for the patterns i will because there's no way i'm not ordering another one ever in my life from heaven and earth to take my money okay so the first one i'm not sure if i'm starting this one next year but i have a feeling i will but because it has no background i can use you know oh no mm -mm. no i have to find a different color but this is autumn dragon from Sheena Pike, I think if I say a name wrong, just know that's my secret talent. So cute. So cute. So I grabbed that one back. Listen. If you've watched me for any point of time, You've heard me at some point talk about um, Game of Thrones, also known as Gaunt. I have read the books. I don't know if anyone else has read the books. But Mr. Martin, could you finish a book? Because I'm a little book frustrated right now. I read the five. I don't know how it ends. I then went and read The Seven Kingdoms, which is about two people, two main people in that book. There's no ending. 
Am I missing something? So now, the husband and I are watching the series. He's already watched. He watched it when it was coming out. I waited till I was done reading, and then now I'm starting to watch. I think we're finally on season two, episode two or three. So no spoilers. But she released one called Blood Fire by Sherry Gerhart. I don't. Mm -hmm. I showed my husband and he said, yes, please. So I bought more fabric because they're not small. Michelle, you're killing me, man. You're killing me. It's 450 by 572. Not in a bad way, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm loving it because it just adds more for next year, and I'm excited about it. I may not have another new start to 2045, but that's okay. Another one was, nope, that one. That's computer catastrophes. So if you haven't caught it, we love dragons. We love fairies and Disney. Not Disneyland, not Disney World, just Disney. Like, I love all the movies. This one is card, called Dark Gothic Fairy by Morgan Fitzsimmons. There's only one M. Need I say more? I'm a big Amy Brown fan. It's not her work, but it's similar. Back. Oh, no, no. There's more. <laughs> we already know about that one. This one is Fairy of Happy Endings by Jana, I'm Jana, Proserina, mm -mm. told you, my secret talent. I'll put her name if you want to take a picture, if you want to find this artist. It's another one. She's gorgeous. Whoops. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stitch her too. Da, 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 da. I think there's one more. I th thought about this one. I'm not sure. I love it. I like it. Not sure if I want to stitch it though. It's called The Mini Night Cafe by... I hear you all say his name all the time and I always get it wrong. Leonid Afrimov? Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's the one who did um, Farewell to Anger that a lot of people started this year for the new year new start. And it's pretty. And I love it. But I'm not sure I want to add it to my stitchy list yet. But I have it, just in case. And I think there was one more. But now I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Oh, how could I forget? My husband said that was an absolute must. Of course it is. It's Ann Stoke. She's the one who did my... Um, <gasps> Did she do Mother of Dragon or Dragonkin? Bach did one of them. I th think Ann Stokes did Mother of Dragon. And I think Alexandria Bach did, I 
it's one way or the other. I don't remember now. But this is Ann Stokes. I love a lot of her artwork. This one's called Sailor's Ruin. I just, how could I say no? Whoa, major glare upon glare. That's going in my husband's office. Mm-hmm, yep. So those are the ones that I grabbed from the freebie madness that was happening. So I now have five more to add to my list. Some of you are probably wondering, how many do I actually have on that list? I have, as of today, about 51 PDF charts that I plan to start next year. That does not count. The projects that I have in my filing cabinet, I think it counts the ones that I had kitted. So like uh, Miss Dancing Flower, Princess Eliana, I think I put on that list, even though they're not PDFs. I think the Shadow Lane is on there, even though it's not a PDF. But I still have so much more in that drawer. If I had to guess, between now and the end of the year, I would say I probably have about 75 with 45 being full coverage. I know about 15, 14 or 15 are heaven and earth designs. Now some of them are minis, so don't over panic. Most of them are not. I think I have four minis and all the others are full, you know, 450, 500 by 700 or 999 for the bookshelf. It's going to be intense and I cannot wait. That's where I'm at right now. I'm using all of the energy of being stuck inside plan for next year because next year I'm going to join well I've already joined them this year I'm just not good at planning them out and making them all work together like Sammy J is my hero and so is Vicky well there's two of them there's stitch and button if you know Vicky you know why I just showed that um, and then there's Reading and Stitching, who is the headmistress of um, Magical School. Magical Schools and Literature? No, Schools and... Wait, how did I forget the name of the group? Magical Stitches. Holy cheese and crackers. Magical Stitches and Literature. She is the mastermind. And I know she gets help. I don't know from who, it's not my business, but... She is like, I want to be her one day. I also said when I first started this journey that I wanted to be like stitching jewels. I think I'm there. I'm not sure how many projects she has. Not that it matters. She has a lot and that's what I wanted. And now I will have it. Also, I want to say thank you to Rachel Ray. I love her. And she shouted me out in her last video. And now some of her peoples are becoming my peoples because of the madness that's happening over here. So if you know someone who's looking for someone who's about to go full coverage crazy, send them my way. We'll see how much fun we have next year. Because I'm excited. I cannot wait. I'm not sure how many more I'll get finished this year. Because I don't think any of them are really close. This is seriously like my closest one. Because all my other ones are finished. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, let me use this. I wanted to show this because sometimes people get confused why there's a paper sheet. When you order 
neons from Color Street. The neon ones can change color in sunlight. So they put paper over the strips. And this is the one I'm wearing today. It is called Gloss Angeles. Super bright, super fun, super pink. Those are about as hot as you can get. <laughs> and I love them. Now I can throw that out because I've shown that. Um, I also just watched the Color Streets um, conference, which made me super pumped. I want to learn all the things. Um, the fall sets are getting prepared. We have We have seen them. I'm not showing them yet. If you're curious, join my VIP group, which is on Facebook. It's Creativity by Gidge. Nails. That's all you have to add to it. Nails. You'll find me. I plan to start showing sneak peeks of colorways because they're going to release sometime in August. Not sure when. I'm super, they are drop dead gorgeous. I say that about all of them, but I mean it. The, every new launch they have, the next line gets better and better. So, I think that's it. I'm making more bags. I have a random sock on my bag. Anyways, that was weird. Um, so I'm trying to, I'm still learning so much. To, I can't measure for nothing. That's what I've learned. No matter how many times I cut, I, I can't get my measurements right every time. So some bags will be nine inches, some will be 10, some will be 10 and a half. I don't know what I'm doing. It's okay though, these are all for me. I've had some people ask me if I plan to sell. I do. I'm not sure yet when because I need to be able to measure correctly the first time <laughs> and not the 10th time to make sure I'm not wasting fabric. But some of the bags that I have planned, I already have the project that's going in them planned. So I'm excited. I also need to start cutting fabric, which scares me to death, but I'm gonna have to measure and measure again and measure for a tenth time to make sure I'm cutting right before I just snip. And then I need to learn how to serge my edges, which I think is pretty simple. As long as my machine's not mad at me that day. And then I can start putting things into the bags and start getting ready for the year because school's starting tomorrow. They're set. I'm not sure what that's gonna look like for my recording time because now my life is pretty much a schedule like I can't shower with them on video chat or talking to a teacher or something I just don't think that's appropriate so I'll probably wait till they have lunch whenever lunch is if they have lunch at the same what if they don't have lunch at the same time The light bulbs that happen when I talk to new people. I'm not sure if they'll have lunch at the same time. Because they don't in school. Because they're different grades. Hmm. Well, that changes things. <laughs> so I can't, like, watch my floss tube on my computer because it's hooked to speakers and they're going to need to listen. So I'll probably be using my phone a lot. Thank God for a good battery. For now, I'm going to kill it. Oh, but anyways, I usually try to record between four and five because that's usually about when my husband is finished with all of his meetings, so I don't have to worry about interrupting him, and kids are out of school by three, and I talk to my friend sometime, most times at five, just before six when we make dinner and have our walk. For someone who does not like schedules who's very random and very you can't tell me what to do like I can't tell myself what to do much less give someone permission to tell me what to do 
my life is about to get a whole lot different. Because last year, when they finished the school year, school class was like an hour and a half. I was making up stuff for them to do. Now they're going to start school at 8, finish by 3. I'm probably going to have to close the bedroom door. They're going to be in here with me all day long because the husband will have meetings. They will have their own meetings and they can't talk over each other. That's not going to work. Life is about to get very different. Not bad. Not my anxiety is not up yet. We'll see how tomorrow goes. Tonight we have a meet the teacher uh, meet the teacher night at six. They have to find their links and click into the classrooms or something. The kids know what they're doing. Technology. Did you see me? We don't. We don't communicate. I just hand the laptops to the kids. Go. You know what to do. Go. <laughs> You've got this. I have full faith in you. Don't come to me because it'll break. <laughs> and I've already paid for the insurance. Oh, you look so pitiful. You're so pitiful. Yes. You're absolutely pitiful. Are you going to come say hello? You're not as cool as Luna. That's Rachel's dog. She'll sit right by her. S'more will stare at me and give me the death stare. S'more. Hey. No? Can I force you to say hello to the peoples? I know. You don't like this. You hate it when I pick you up. I know. Can you just look at the peoples, though? So they can see your half-painted face? Oh. So tortured. This is why I have cat hair up my nose. I know. It's okay if she jumps on me, but I can't pick her up. It's okay if she pets me. I can't pet her. She lets me pet her more than anyone else in the house, though. So it's okay. Now she has to give herself a bath. She has human on her. All right. At this point, I'm just talking to talk because I don't know when the next time we'll talk again. I'm hoping that I can keep the schedule that I have now, but I'm not sure. Between classwork, I don't know what homework is going to look like. If they'll even have any or they're going to have hours of it. I have no idea. I have no idea what's coming. All I know is it's out of my control. So I can only control what I can control and do what I can do. And that's where I'm at. So she looks like she's planning my death. I can't. And now she's giving herself a bath. I was going to show you her face, but I can't. Her eyes were slit. Anyways, that note, I'm going to say farewell. Bid you adieu. Stay random. Don't kiss your projects. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully next week. We'll see. Bye.